Hello guys, welcome to Ignite Career YouTube channel. We are going to start a series of videos that helps to understand integration of different IoT platform to Grafana. Also, visualizing data using various data sources in Grafana. So, to start with, we all make an understanding of what is Grafana. Grafana is a multi-platform open source analytics and interactive visualization web application. It can produce charts, graph, and alert for the web when connected to supported data sources. So we have seen what is Grafana and what are the multiple versions of Grafana available currently in market. Now we can start our journey initially by installing Grafana and Postgres SQL setups. For that, go to browser, click on to Grafana. Now we can see download Grafana. If you click on to that, it will uh, move us to the download page. Now there are multiple versions of Grafana available and we are going with the latest version and editions there are two kind of edition enterprise and oasis so we will currently go with the enterprise edition and here we can see multiple OIS versions of grafana uh, there are linux windows mac docker arm uh, linux arm 64 processor version and here we are going to select windows and we can also see that two versions a uh, windows installer windows uh, binary standalone binary version uh, we will go with download the installer here we can see it is getting it downloaded so the msi file is downloaded now we will uh, carry on with the installation process uh, just ignore just click run and now we can see the uh, installation wizard over here. We will start with the wizard. Next, I just click the license agreement part. Next. So this will be the components which will be installed. Uh, we can see Grafana Enterprise and also run Grafana as a service. So uh, it will be installed as a Windows service next and just click to install so it is getting installed now we can see uh, completed the grafana enterprise set of wizard uh, click finish so we have done with the installation part now we can load the login we can log into grafana so for that, just uh, click uh, localhost colon 3000. This will load the login page of Grafana. So in here, uh, Grafana will be defaultly running in 3000 port. And I just loaded the login page. And the default username password for Grafana is admin admin. Just click login. So I am not currently going to update the password. Let us keep as admin admin and so hi guys. We have successfully installed Grafana. This will be the landing page once we uh, do the login, finish the login part. So we can see the home page start dashboards, dashboard creation section uh random like exploration chart exploration part alerting part and these are the by default these are the available data sources and some administration session to update the password user control access system so that's it guys so we have installed uh, grafana session we have installed Grafana 
Now we will carry on with installation of PostgreSQL. With that, open a browser window, PostgreSQL, okay. and as a first result itself, we can see the uh, downloads. So click on to the download link over here. So these are the operating systems available currently for PostgreSQL. We can see Linux, macOS, Windows, BSD, Solaris, and we are preferring to go with Windows. So if we click on to the Windows, we can see the latest version is 16, and we can also see the multiple versions. Uh, so to download the installer, click on to the download the installer a link. It will take us to the download page where we can see the latest version 16.2 and here we can see a download icon. Just click and we can see the download has started here. So it's downloaded guys. Just click on to the downloader and click run over here yes so it will take us to the installation wizard so the wizard is ready now just click next and this will be the installation directory for the PostgreSQL and this is the 16 you can see the version 16 so it will create the installation directory over there and if we click next, we can see the installation. This components will be getting installed. Uh, the PostgreSQL server, PG Admin 4, Stack Builder, and Command Line tools. So the PG Admin 4 is the GUI component where we can uh, query, create database, and connect to backend uh, PostgreSQL server. So just click next. And inside 16 PostgreSQL 16 data. So this will be the data folder. Just click and we can can create a password for the database. So just click next and 5432 is the default board. Uh, for PostgreSQL, we will go with the default one. Next, and click next, and just follow next. And next, so we can see uh, the PostgreSQL is getting installed. We will wait until the installation procedures get completed. So that's guys, it has got installed. Just click finish. And uh, welcome to Stack Builder. It is not necessary. We need to install all the setups. And we can carry with the current installation setups itself. It's, these are add-on modules. We does not require that one for our purpose. And if we type pg admin 4 you can see it has got installed just open so that's it guys it has got installed we can see and the password what we have uh, given while installation we can just use it over here to open the server and that's it we can see the databases and login rules part table spaces so guys we have successfully installed the SQL server uh, also now in the coming sessions we will see how to install a low code platform a popular low code platform called Notred and we will just exploring installation of uh, PostgreSQL nodes and injecting some data to PostgreSQL using Node-RED and we will try to visualize it using Grafana. 
सो दैट्स इट गाइस